There we go. I had to pause the recording uh, for a second. It's back up again. Okay. It's easier for me to edit when there isn't, like, you know, an hour and a half of footage. Yeah, I get that. While I continued sitting on the bed, she went up to her table and started looking at the scans of muscle groups. As we talked, her eyes never left the screen. Some of these structures are very similar to those found at the Damien's cap. Whoa. Whoa, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Oh. Redacted. <laughs> Redacted hard. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. His stature is similar enough. True, true. Now shut up, let me concentrate. Whoa. Does that approach ever work? What are you talking about? You being th that rude to everyone. Whoa, I'm going on the offensive. <laughs> We're done here. Get out. Can't take what you dish out, huh? Then did she go up and look a rage across her face? I said, get the heck out of here. Grabbed my arm and roughly walked me to the door. After shoving me outside, she quickly closed the door behind me. Okay. What did you do? Uh oh. Bride, what did you do? I think Maverick's dead. What? I think Maverick's dead. Not Maverick. Oh, there was gunshots. Intuition, superstition. Oh, hell! Oh no. I woke with my eyes fixed to the ceiling on the ceiling wallpaper. A sense of oh. dread lingered from a nightmare that I no longer remembered. How many time, more times will I see this apartment before I turn to my own world? Before something happened to me? I got ready for the day and tried to shake off those thoughts. Oh no. Hey, Dr. Bright. And right on the minute, you just show up. You show up. Uh, this time, every day, like clockwork. Clocks Wait a clock. moment. Okay. Press escape. Do I want so to that you get in the menu. Do I want a solid save, do I? No, uh, but I want to see something. Okay. Yeah. Needing to catch up. Uh, go on to the status. <gasps> Wait, who is that third guy? That one. Sebastian? No, it wasn't Sebastian. Where's the middle one? I can't... There was Remy, Anna, Bryce... How the hell did you get on bad terms with Anna? Remember I told her that she can't... Something about dishing out? Yeah, but uh, wasn't it... Uh, was it scripted or did you... No, it was scripted. Oh. The hell. Who the hell's dead? The middle one. The middle card. Who's that again? Lorem. What? Lorem. No, he was awesome. No, wait, he was the reporter, I don't care. Fuck you! <laughs> okay. Right. Looks so reliable, and reliable is good on, in this line of work. I think you can guess why I'm here. Is it Reza again? What happened this time? The chief will explain everything once we get there. Let's not keep him waiting, shall we? We arrived at the place that would look like an ordinary house had it not been for its extraordinary size. It reminded me more of the host hostel than a family home. Ah, oh, the hatchery. True. There you are. Wait, weren't you supposed to be with Amira? Luckily, she doesn't work every day of the week. I see. Anyway, we're nearly done here. So I'll keep it short. Reza broke into the hatchery. There is another murder victim, an employee of a hatchery who was on night duty. Body was found quite a, quite away from here. There's evidence of a struggle, but she she's covered a lot of distance before it was ultimately over. Loud bangs were heard from the area. Her body was found, and she was has numerous wo wounds consisting with consistent with the wounds of previous victims. That other weapon he has. At this point, news of another corpse didn't have the same impact anymore. It was just another one of Reza's face, faceless victims. Hatchery? Is that what this building is? Yes. 
Well, not only. It's a council-owned building and they like keeping everything related to their sector under the same roof. Though, besides the hatchery, there's also an orphanage and family clinic inside. There are also offices related to administration of the, those services. That reminds me of the production facility. It showed that they have similar management structure. Let me get back to the case. Sorry for the interruption. Wait a minute. No orphanage, orphanage is in there too. There are no other casualties, but Riza got something else when he broke in. Generated as well as a few eggs. Luckily the power was stored before anything happened to all the other eggs left inside. And needless to say, the parents of the stolen eggs are not going to be happy. Why would you steal the eggs in the first place? Maybe you can tell us. That's why you're here after all. I don't know. I have no idea what you would even do with them. Maybe he wants to use them as bargain chips after all. After all, he still has to make his escape and the pool is broken. I think he wants to exchange them for safe passage for the pool. Maybe. Maybe. Ugh. Hang on. <laughs> Doing loads of reading, so hang on, give me a sec. It's still broken though, so I'm not sure if that would be much help. Maybe he has the part and needs to repair it and now he has everything he needs to escape. You could trade the eggs for safe passage, fix the portal and leave. That's not the only possibility. He may not be the one who broke the portal. Maybe he thinks you've intentionally sabotaged it so he can't leave. He feels he needs the eggs as bargaining chip to get you to repair it. If he just wanted to leave, I feel he could have done it that already. It doesn't even matter who sabotaged the portal. We only know that Reese's actions are becoming more and more desperate. He kidnapped. He kidnapped defenseless eggs and even used a, the human weapon. Something's clearly going on there. Maybe it means that he'll slip up soon. Who knows, maybe he already has in any case. We're done here. Let's head back to the department and decide on what to do next. Hopefully some of the test results will tell us something. After a brief walk, we were in Bryce's office again. Initial test results had already come in, but didn't reveal any insightful or new information. What do we do now? Go over the timeline again? Well, yeah, there are a few things I'd like to take care of first. What do you have in mind? Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Come in. Maverick! Maverick, what are you doing here? Chief, Chief can I talk to you alone? We're quite busy here, Maverick. What is this about? Reza. So you're looking at the Reza Task Force, so if you have anything to say, you can say it right in front of all of us. I I see. I think I know where Reza is. You know where Reza is at this very moment? I have a good reason to believe that he I have located his hideout. He could still be there, or he might already have moved on. Damn, yeah, Eric, tell me everything. I've been tracking him for a while now. When he was at the portal a few days ago, I nearly got him and managed to follow him for a while before I lost him. Based on that, that has been where that's where he's been and where his victims have been found. I could triangulate his whereabouts. He'll live somewhere near somewhere, right? Hang on. He needs a base to hide the generators and everything he has stolen. Bryce cleared the stuff on the table and smoothed out a map of the town on its surface. He already had a few locations related to the case marked on. Go with me. Prior, vict prior victims were found here and here. Today's was here. He was following him, likely because she wanted to save the eggs he stole. This is the path he took fr from the portal when I fo followed him a few days ago. So we have established this as his area of operation. Extrapolate it and we can narrow it down to this. Now, where could he be hiding in this area? It's certainly not within the village borders, so unless he's decided to live in the wilderness or in a hole in the ground, the only option is here. Underground base? No. Oh. And the abandoned farm? When did you think you were all this out? Just a few minutes ago, when I did, I s immediately came here. Damn it, Maverick, this might be it. So, should we send an observation team? As if. As if we had one to spare. Hey, we're going there right now. What about you, Maverick? I'm still on sick leave, remember? Besides, if I saw reason right now, I'd probably do something I shouldn't. How about you, Dr. Bright? Isn't this going to be dangerous? Reza probably won't, won't harm you. 
as you're the only one he could possibly consider an ally. Good point. If anything, if you, with you there, we might be able to convince him to give up. Or we could act like we intend to trade for you for the eggs. If he tries to use them as a backing chip. You're not really going to use me as ransom, right? We'll see all about that. So if, it, if it's necessary, I'll have to play along. Ugh. I've got your back. If there's one thing we could do, make this... <coughs> Sorry. Let me try that. If there's one thing we could do to make this whole situation even worse, it would be messing up with you. We have the God damn it, why are people writing to me right now? Oh dear. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Never Go okay. on. Yeah. We have the element of surprise if we walk into his base right now, but we risk Reza lashing out with his weapon. We want to resolve this peacefully. Observation is probably the way to go. I guess we don't need Dr. Bright there for that, though. True enough. Alright, Dr. Bright. Bright, you stay here and wait for further instructions. We may need you at a moment's notice. Don't do anything without telling us. You... Us telling you to. Understood? Okay. Alright then. Let's go, Sebastian. Witness is online. After you, Chief. And Merrick, good job. Thanks. Thank you, Chief. Initiating thank you protocols. Wait, what? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> um, other question. Yeah, go on. Should we invite Witness? If you fancy. <laughs> That's if she wants to, that is. Wait, I don't know how far she got in the game, and I don't want to spoil her. No, I'm gonna leave that. You wanna leave it? Yeah. You could ask her where she is. Actually, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? See, I'm a magician. But I'm not gonna ask her over the server. That's fine. Where is her pro? Damn. Uh, you can go on in the meantime. Okay. Shortly after they vanish, Maverick would also turn to leave. I'm just stuck here. Then I had to wait. <laughs> Bryce and Sebastian were observing the farm now. Anything new happened, I would be the first to know. I spent some time looking at, around Bryce's office, studying all the material he had gathered about the case. But there wasn't any information that I didn't already know. After a few hours, the telephone in his office rang, and I'm not sure where to... Paul was intended for me or Bryce. I picked up. Dr. Bright? Yes. I think you need to come here. I'll give you the directions. No problem. Thank god they didn't describe it to me. Fucking hell. There you are. So what happened? All lot of nothing. No movement to or from the building in the time we've been watching. He usually operates during night, so maybe he's just asleep. In that case, it would be best for us to go in. Or he has a chance to make his escape. Maybe he's not even in there anymore. He's seen us and slipped away unnoticed. Plenty of time to destroy the evidence. But well, we've been waiting here. You're right. Either he's still inside or he's already gone. Not coming back. Let's go in. What should I do? Go home with me. Sebastian, walk around and walk back to the building. Just in case he tries to escape. There's lots of windows on that building. You can escape from pretty much anywhere on that building, even the rooftop. Because none of these guys seem to have wings. Oi! What? New video. New video? No video. What do you mean? No video. New video. What? New video! New video? Yeah! What, what Am I speaking Chinese? It certainly sounds like it. A new video got uploaded. Oh, okay. I was... SCP-1678. 
Oh, yay, Unlimited is out. Yay. Um, Perfect. I'm on it, Chief. I go in, and you stay here, alright? What am I even here for, then? You're our insurance. If Razor tries to escape and flees, and to flee and sees you, it might throw him off. You might be able to stop him. Or if we go into a standoff, I can tell him you're here as well. I just don't want you to come inside, and they could become dangerous. Let me go in first. Why? Maybe I can talk to him. We can figure things out. I don't think he wants to kill me, so even if it doesn't work out, Sebastian and you will still be nearby to catch him. I'll be right behind you then. Be careful. I made our way to the front door. I took a deep breath and tried to prepare myself for the possibility of facing reason. Tense scenarios and things I'd say to him rushed through my head as I pressed down on the door handle. Door and pause. You gonna pause that? Yeah, we're gonna do a little break, watch the video. I'm gonna.